Hello viewers, here is a Dell Latitude D630 computer. This is my main laptop and this has been a great computer. I've had this for a long time now, probably six or seven years. Very reliable, I've never had anything fail within it. The only thing I've done is replace the battery, I think twice now since I've got it. But um, it has two gigabytes of RAM in there and when I got it, it had a Windows XP and at the time that was more than sufficient and for Windows XP that really is still a decent amount but for the new operating systems like Windows 10 in particular they're very RAM intensive and two it's just not not very good anymore so I do have a lot of operating systems on this machine I have Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 10 and then a ver variant of Linux Mint and the window 10 in particular just doesn't run very well so we're gonna upgrade the RAM today I went on Amazon and I got this set of RAM which will give me four gigabytes in total and I only paid twenty dollars for that RAM I'm sure it's not the greatest RAM in the world but it's certainly gonna be better than what I've got and if I can make this computer a lot more workable with modern operating systems for all of twenty dollars I'll be happy with that so the RAM is pretty easy to upgrade in this machine. There's two DIMM slots. One is on, on the bottom under here. Let's unscrew this one screw here. That's going to open the RAM door. And you'll see we have a gigabyte stick here. This is by uh, Hynix, I guess is the brand. I don't know, I've never heard of that before. But there's that. We're going to put it in one of the new sticks. Okay, you know, put this back in place, and the second slot is under the keyboard, which takes a little bit more skill to get to, but it's still relatively simple to do. So I'm going to open the screen all the way, actually I'm going to orientate it this way, I'm going to open the screen all the way. And starting on this side, there's a little lip here, right there. And I'm going to take a very small screwdriver and kind of pry this up. And I'm going to go along here and uh, remove this plastic piece here. Okay, and once that is out, there's three screws to remove the keyboard. There's one here. Uh, one right here. And the last one is over here. So at this point we can lift up the keyboard. It does kind of hold on this uh, on one side. It may hold on both sides depending on how it was put in. Or uh, actually, is there clips on this side? Yeah, there are. So if it was, I guess it may. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, here's our second RAM slot. Pull this out and put this bin. Now the keyboard, these uh, parts there kind of slide under the case and the side should kind of snap in there. I don't know why it's not catching on this side. Okay, once that's in place we'll put the screws back in and the RAM upgrade will be complete. So it's, uh, it's a relatively simple repair or not repair, uh, upgrade. Even if you're not too too computer savvy or comfortable with going into electronics, there's not much to this. This is relatively uh, consumer friendly as far as uh, maintenance and upgrades go. Which is one of many things I, I like about these earlier Dell Latitude machines. They're very well made and relatively well designed for the most part.
this just snaps into place. Actually, no, it doesn't quite. There's there's two uh, two clips on the side here that go under, and then it'll snap into place. Okay, I guess I turned it on. I didn't mean to do that, but I got to do that anyways to <laughs> see if the RAM worked. Probably going to get a, a message on here from the BIOS saying that the amount of system memory has changed. We have received an error indicating that the amount of memory has changed, which is uh, what we expect. So we're going to go into continue into setup and we'll just check and see how much it's got. And it is accounting for uh, uh, 4 gigabytes. So we're going to get out of here and we'll go into Windows and check it in there. Okay, here we are into Windows and it's also recognizing all 4 gigabytes. Uh, it's saying the experience index needs to be refreshed because the hardware has changed. And so we'll go ahead and do that just out of curiosity to see how the RAM compares. So right now my RAM, or previously my RAM was getting a 5.1. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this and let's see what the new RAM gives. Okay, apparently it's not going to run on battery. Fortunately, I have a second power adapter floating around downstairs here. So we'll plug this in and try it again. Seems happier now. And the RAM is still a 5.1. So I guess it's the same quality RAM than the previous RAM was. Um, anyways, that's that. Relatively easy operation and should make the computer a lot more usable with modern operating systems.